Yo, 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 this is your boy Fresh B, and you know how we do. Welcome to Fresh B TV. You are welcome to Fresh B TV all across Africa, the world. Here's Fresh B TV. When you join the live, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel. You're on your notification. Today, the topic I'm tackling is Africa. The youth of Africa should rise. The youth of Africa should rise. The youth of Africa should rise, you know. It, it seems like the entire Africa continent are going through a lot, you know. The entire of Africa continent, you know, I'm talking about Ghana, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Gambia, you know, Liberia, Cote d'Ivoire, Togo, you know, you can mention them, Nigeria. You know, all Africa can, continent is going through a lot, all because we lack of leadership. You know, before any you know any 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 country can you know develop or to a certain level we need a good leadership you know even organizations and those stuff they need good leadership if you don't have good leadership it will be difficult for you know the, the the organization to go far you know and that is what africans we lack when it comes to africa we are suffering all because we have bad leaders across the entire africa continent you know you cannot say this country like nigeria is better than ghana ghana is better than togo or togo is better than Cote d'Ivoire. the same we are all the same because we lack of leadership you know let me take nigeria for example you know the last time i was reading something about nigeria and compare nigeria to you know dubai they are all having the same you know the same, you know, uh, resources like that is the oil, the gas, and the oil. You know, when you look at the the quantity, the quantity oil the Nigerians get, and you look at the quantity that Dubai people get, the Nigeria one is more than you know the the Dubai one. But when you look at Dubai, what they have used the the oil money to do, how Dubai is looking now. In years back, I read something about um, Dubai. That was, um, I think, that is um, uh, about 1957, 19, yeah, 1957, 1960 something. There, Dubai was very terrible. You know, the entire environment everywhere was very terrible. You understand? But look at now Dubai. Fifty years back, Dubai is now one of the you know the richest or one of the best you know countries in the world i tell you you see all because they have good leadership they have leader who think about you know the future they have leader who think about the people they have leader who collect their taxpayers money and use it for uh, you know for the purpose why they collect that money when it comes to africa it's not like that all they do is they collect the money they enjoy with their family they take their family from you know the the the, the countries to you know europe countries to you know get better education there and leave the poor people you know those who are paying the tax to them those who are working for the country you know they leave them here you know africa continent we are not asking for too much we are not asking for too much let's say when it comes to ghana for instance my country ghana we are not asking for too much all we ask is we need quality education we need quality health care we need fatrasses we need good roads we need better schools and we need quality water quality electricity and this is what we ask for and we need uh, one thing better security you understand these are the things we ask for we don't ask for many things these are the things so if you leaders come and lead us and cannot provide all this and you call yourself a leader that is very terrible you understand so i'm encouraging this this message is to to the youth the entire continent youth you know africa youth that we should change our mindset it's hard time because looking at you know Looking at the entire Africa continent, the reason why I think we are facing this problem is that all the leaders we choose, they are too old. 
some are 90 years 80 years 70 years you know some are even 90 something years what are they coming to do you understand we need you to lead the african continent we need you to take over we need you to you know the youth really understand us you know so whenever we would discuss with them they are ready to what they are ready to um take it up there and solve our problems for us you understand if you don't change our mindset it will be difficult for african continent to develop i have read a lot a lot about african continent you go to dubai um, what do you call it uganda zimbabwe nigeria ghana togo Kodiba, liberia and you know you can name them mali you know botswana guinea um what do you call it this country uh taiwan and bangladesh and those stuff you know all these countries you know we are facing a, a hardship there is no single country you say oh as for this country they have everything you understand we are all facing a lot of problems and and the, the problem that is confronting ghana the same problem confronting Nigeria, the same problem confronting everywhere. Understand? All because our leaders don't think about us. Our leaders always think about their family, you know, think about their children, their wife, their husbands, and that is all. And we are the do we are those who pay the tax to the government. So it's our duty. To put the government on his toes but here is the case this is politics so when you when you, when you try to put the government on his toes they may think you are doing politics so it is not possible you understand so i will encourage african youth i will encourage the entire africa continent youth to rise up it's time for change you know when you go to senegal recently the election they voted for you know a young guy you know he's a youth we don't say you like 20 years or maybe you know at least 40 years and above is, is okay senegal voted for this guy their current president is a, a youth you know 40 plus i'm giving you five years down the line you will see how you will see the difference totally different from you know senegal to other countries in africa all because they have gotten a, a youth to come and lead them he has fresh mind he is willing to work he's willing to help the people willing to give better life to the people you know these are the kind of leaders african continent we need we have seen a lot when it goes to nigeria the president is old come to ghana our president is old if you go to other countries you know the leaders the mps the ministers all of them are too old so it is difficult for them to understand we the youth so as as now i'm speaking to you we need we need people that will understand the youth we need people that are willing to help the youth to understand so african youth we should rise up and change our mentality how can you be 30, 20 and go and take someone who is 85, 90 years to come and lead you? You understand? It is not possible. So it's hard time for African continent. We should try and reason. We should try to, you know, understand the situation and 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 work on it so that we can get quality leaders that will care about us, that will use our taxpayers money for something important you know, understand because we lack of a lot we lack of a lot when you come to ghana for instance right now as i'm speaking to you we have a, a serious electricity problem a serious a major serious electricity problem you understand when it comes to africa ghana these are our current problem. Businesses are collapsing. People are dying at hospital. Babies are dying and those stuff. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy. Just a common electricity. It is difficult for us to get. 
And it's not only in Ghana. If you go to Nigeria, the same thing. Go to other countries, Burkina Faso, Togo, and Benin, Uganda, Botswana, and those have the same problem. Why? I have one friend who traveled to, you know, Europe. I think Germany or so. He has been there for two years, but the past two years, he said he never see light out like this. They never off light in that country. You understand? They never off light. And these are the things we are seeking for. These are, you know, things that we ask the leaders to do for us. Don't give us money. We don't need your money. We don't need anything from you. All we need is give us quality, quality health care, quality schools, um, what is quality education, quality roads, quality electricity, quality water. These are the things we are asking from our leaders that they should use our taxpayers' money to do these things for us so that it will make life easier for us to, you know, put our daily activities can take place. But they cannot do, us, do it for us. So we are suffering. Understand? We are suffering a lot. So I will, I will encourage African youth to rise, you know, all African youth should rise. It's time for you to rise, rise rise let us change our mentality let us try to bring now we are lucky we get a lot of you that are interested in the politics you understand so we should try and involve the youth and also see the changes they can bring to us because all the old people are not helping africa the old people are not they don't have any any intention to help the the, the, the future of the the, the countries you understand so it's hard time for the youth we should rise and you know and try and 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 and, and bring some of the youth into the politics face so that we see what they can do or else we will we will we cannot move forward we cannot let me remember you here is fresh v tv you are watching me from africa ghana to precise the ceo of fresh v grooming salon I'm here. When you join the live, you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you on your notification. Share to your friends, the entire Africa continent to hear this and we should change our mindset so that Africa can develop. You know, let me, I, I read something about Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah because I did history at SHS. Yes, I read history at SHS. One of the major policy uh, Kwame Nkrumah was trying to put across the African continent is he was trying to, you know, unite the entire African continent into one. But some of the African leaders were not in support, all because if you unite the entire African continent, like United States of America, United Kingdom, and other countries they cannot get access to you know shop our money so they decided that no they will not agree you understand the vision of dr asaja for farm and coma was very 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 perfect that can help the entire africa continent you understand but unfortunately some of the african leaders were not in support this is your boyfriend via subscribe to my youtube channel and watch me i have a lot you know i have a lot information about africa and each country so when you join you subscribe to my youtube channel you on your notification this is africa hour africa used to rise let us rise and fight for our future the old people are, will die soon. Those we are voting for them, those who are chopping our money, those who came to us that we should vote for them, very soon they will pass away. You cannot get 150 years. You cannot get 200 years. In the next 50, 70 years, they are gone. In the next 40, 30 years, they are gone. The next 20, so they don't think about us. Me and you, me and you as for me i'm not yet married you too you are not married you are married you have two children you are married you have one child 
ask yourself, look at the stress we are going through as a youth. When you're a youth from Africa, when you're a youth from Africa, once you complete secondary school, that is all. Unless, when you go to the universities and the tertiary institutions, most of, most of the students there, their parents are rich. You will go inside, go into details, their parents are related to politicians. Their family are related to politicians. Because the youth, we are suffering. The food, the food to eat is even difficult. We are working. Why will someone try to leave his own in comfort zone, like leave his country and travel to, what do you call it? Dubai, travel to, let's say, US, travel to Germany, travel to, you know, other countries to go and hustle. Meanwhile, you can do something in his own home. But it, 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 even the salary here, I have one friend who live in UK. He was an he was a teacher here. And monthly he was collecting like let's say roughly, 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 roughly like hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. That was the amount he collected to take home. Hundred to hundred and fifty dollars, not even up to two hundred dollars. But he is now in UK. At the end of the month. It take like ten thousand pounds at the end of the month. It take like ten thousand pounds. I was shocked. I say, wow, how did you get this ten thousand? He say, yes, it is possible because after school he do other things. After school he go here, he do this, he do that. So at the end of the month, he was able to raise like ten thousand pounds. You understand? So it's the same job that the people in Ghana here, the people in Africa are doing. So why the salary is low? All because the leaders, they chop our money, they use our money to feed their family. Could you imagine the ministers, the MPs and the president and whatever vice president? It's the state that take, they take care of them. I don't know other countries. But I believe it is the same. When you come to Ghana, our ministers, our MPs, our president, is the state that take care of them. It's the state that pay their bills, provide their food, their, their fuel they will use in their car, their electricity. Everything is funded by the state. So they, they don't feel the hardship we are going through. They don't see, they cannot feel it. Upon all this money they are taking, they still don't pay bills, they still don't buy food, they still don't buy food, they still don't do anything. So all the pressure, they put it on us. They put the pressure on African youth. They put the pressure on the, the poor people. They put the pressure on people that pay tax. They put the pressure on, you know, the people that you know voted for them and 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 all the people that all the things that the people are asking is very simple give them quality education quality electricity quality um what do you call it infrastructure quality rules quality health care if 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 you go to our health care facilities it is so sad it is so so sad i remember two years ago my mom was you know my mom my mom was sick and they they they, they we, we i take him i take her to rich hospital one of the biggest hospital in ghana i took her i took my mom there and when we get there, when the doctor see her and take all the you know necessary this document and information, they refer us to emergency that they should put that in the next ten minutes, twenty minutes, they should put that on emergency, you know, bed. Around eleven thirty to twelve o'clock. 
there was no there was no bed and the time we get there a lot of people are on the floor a lot of people are were on the floor my eyes like this i take my mom there so i was there not that somebody said this my ass was there clearly people were lying on the floor people that they referred them to emergency they were lying on the floor some were crying some even the first age self some were not receiving the first aid you understand so that is it you understand that is what we are talking about and and someone they refer into emergency around 12 o'clock it get to evening seven o'clock before we get a bed before we get a bed my mom lie on and even the prescription prescription they write for us the, the the medicine they say we should you should go and buy or we should go and take college from the you know the hospital it it took me like the entire night it took me like more than three four hours before i get the medicine you go here they say the data is not entered go back go and enter by the time you from here go there people are already online so you have to go back it took me four hours by the time i get medicine to give to my mom it was 11 something p.m in the night you understand so this is what we are asking for give us quality health care give us like europe hot people are enjoying there we should also enjoy some here quality health care quality education quality water quality rules structures and those stuff this is what the people are asking for it's not many okay we are paying our taxpayers money to you people these are what we want you to use the taxpayers money to do they say no they will not do it for us they will use it to enjoy with their family enjoy with their parents and those stuff you understand so the entire africa is going through a lot the entire africa is going through a lot and nowadays i'm going to tackle the entire africa continent so this content is for africa if you are african if you are from africa let us come together and build our nation it is possible we can also do it we can do it me and you can change africa to be like europe to be like the other countries go back to china go to china i can say china supply about 90 percent of all the product we use in africa china they, they, they like like you see so these are the things we are asking for we should we should try to develop the entire african nations if me and you come together it is possible that africa can be one of the best because we have the resources count them when you come to ghana like this we have gold we have diamond we have timber we have bauxite we have oil we have petrol just name them we have everything cocoa cashew and everything the things that need for us to complete the secondary production the, the, um, the primary production, the secondary production to the tertiary production to use one. We have all the raw materials. But look at our oil or look at our, our, our cocoa. We cannot process it in this country. All the cocoa we get from this country, we, imp we, 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 imp we export it to different country. To, to, to change it into tertiary production and come and sell it back to us. That's common sense. Common sense. Why don't we go for the machines? Why don't you go for the machines and come and process everything here? After that, if you pay them their percentage, we employ people here 
we 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 will get the people to employ them here the youth will get work to do here after that the country will benefit from it and after everything if we are paying them their percentage that is the best why we should send our raw materials to them to process and do everything and come back and sell it to us it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense so it's hard time for the youth to rise let us rise and talk about these things or else it's it, 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 the entire africa our generation will suffer look at the suffering we are in now entire africa continent are suffering you understand so a time will come by the time your children will get to 20 30 years 40 years Ask yourself that time, how is things is going to be? It's very tough, very serious matter. We need to take critically take note of it and try to do something to help the entire African nation, or else we cannot go anywhere. This is your boyfriend here. Yeah, when you join me, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is your boy Fred B here, Fred B TV from Africa, Ghana. This is African Hour. The youth should rise. The youth of Africa should rise. It's hard time for us to take over. It's hard time to put the entire Africa continent to where it belongs to. This is your boy Fred B. When you join my page, subscribe to my YouTube channel on your notification day in and day out i'm your number one head stylist at the same time i'll be tackling african issues this is your boyfriend here was